construction work is continuing after days of holdups due to rain and wind. The last parts of the tower are being put up today. The Wurstadt Association of Municipalities, which is made up of 13 villages, is getting five wind turbines. The mayor commissioned the project. He says he wants his community to be independent from big energy suppliers. By 2017, Wurstadt intends to be generating 100% of its own electricity. That means all the power needed by the 29,000 residents and all local business and industry will be produced here. There's a solar power plant in the area already. The idea behind the latest project is that it will also create local jobs. The chief executive of UV promotes the concept of communities generating power for themselves. The 40-year-old likes things to go fast, and not just when he's driving his electric car. He says it would be possible for Germany to cover 100% of its energy needs in a few years using renewable sources. We're serious. Why shouldn't it be possible? In the last 10 years, every single German has been able to get a mobile phone. Why should it not be possible to supply every German with clean electricity? Technically, it's not a problem. UV plans, finances and operates power plants that generate energy from a wide range of sources. Wind, sun, biogas and wood pellets. Thanks to government funding for renewables in recent years, the industry has grown quickly, and so has UV. The company has an annual turnover of 600 million euros and employs 700 people. The profitability of renewables is increasing. Many countries have recognized this and installed suitable systems to promote renewables. There are also many very attractive markets for renewable energy all over the world. And if you've got good, highly motivated employees, it's possible to obtain a good market position like the one we have at the moment. The company's headquarters is a marketing instrument that aims to prove that revolutionizing energy use is possible. The building produces more electricity than it consumes. A small wood pellet burning power plant provides warmth and the motor pool of electric cars is being expanded. Visitors come daily to see what the company itself describes as the world's most energy-efficient office building. It's built from wood, has the best insulation and no elevators. That was important to company executives, as is training their employees in environmentally correct behavior. No dishwashers, no stoves and no microwaves. We consciously didn't install electrical appliances here. If a staff member is hungry, they can go to the cafeteria. A few large appliances are more economical than many smaller ones. The energy-hungry freezer was the only one the boss couldn't persuade employees to do without. But now, it's time to eat. Two-time Olympic gold medalist and swimming world champion Britta Steffen is at the table. She's going to promote Juve in future. It helps to have public figures working for you. I think the whole atmosphere is good. The building's made of wood, which is very environmentally friendly. It's also really something that they cover their own energy needs. They're autonomous. I'm impressed. At the construction site, they're installing the turbine covering. 13 years ago, Juve built its first wind turbine. Since then, they put up hundreds. Maybe not everyone appreciates having a wind energy park near them, but the entrepreneurs at Juvie say they can't imagine a better view. <laughs>